Hey guys, James here. Well, today I'm showing off another laptop that I have that I've been utilizing for mining for quite some time, probably near a year, and it's been doing really well. It does give me the ability to mine with both CPU and GPU, um, but I tend to stick with just the GPU on this one just because it does warm up a little bit more than I like when I'm running both. But when I run in just the GPU, it runs at some really great temperatures, uh, mid-70s. So definitely uh, the fans cool that GPU really well while it's mining at its full capacity. So uh, first off, we're going to go ahead and start by showing the laptop off just a little bit. So again, this is after me mining with it for a year. I do game with it as well. So definitely this, this laptop has done quite a bit and it's still going. Uh, basically it is an MSI GF65 Thin 10SDR-458US. So basically this one has an i7 Intel processor in it, it has a 1660 GTX which has six gigabytes of RAM so it definitely can still run the higher end mining software um, like I said it's done really good for mining and actually performs really well in games as well uh, maybe I'll do some benchmarks later for that but again right now we're focusing on mining so let's go ahead and uh, open her up take a closer look at her Okay, there we are, all of its glory, let's go ahead and show you around it. So as you can see it does actually have a fan vent on that side and a fan vent on this side, so both sides of the back and then on the left hand side it has a side vent. Right hand side, it does not, that's where it has a lot of its ports, Ethernet, two USB-C's, and two USB 3.0's. And on the back, you can sell this one does not have any ports on the back. But on the other side, you can see where it has the HDMI port and its power port. So yeah. I kind of like how this one's set up. It does have everything on the side, whereas like my other mining laptop, it does have some of the stuff in the back, which I don't really like as much for some reason. Same reason it's easier to manage when it's like this. All right, let's go ahead and open her up. So there is the keyboard. A little bit of glare. See over there where it says it has a uh, Intel i7 and a GTX GPU. The basic information sticker right there that it is a GF65 thin. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom. It's kind of cool when you look at the bottom though, you can really see a lot of the copper in there for the cooling that it does. This thing actually has some very nice fans. Doesn't quite get as loud as the other one, but like I said, does keep that GPU nice and cool. You know it's working at full load. So yeah, definitely a lot of copper in this guy. Okay. Let's put her down. Plug her in. We come down a little bit on the tripod. Okay, let's slide the whole thing back for you. Like so, looks pretty good. Oh, 
All right, now I'll go ahead and get her booted up for you. So your keyboard does light up red, like a lot of gaming laptops. Pretty basic, doesn't have all the different colors like the other one. guys so the first thing you'll want to do of course is go ahead and come here to MSI Dragon Center basically this is where you're going to control a lot of the overclocking with this laptop um, and fan speed those types of things so balance is generally what it's going to come on but for mining obviously you're going to want to crank it up a little bit and so then you can actually go to the settings on extreme first Let's bring up settings and as you can see there I have it completely cranked up, core clock speed up to 200, VRAM clock offset is maxed out at 350, and then down here it says cooler boost, this is what's going to allow those fans to actually run you know, as fast as they can to keep this thing cool. So what we'll do, of course, just go ahead and save this, and of course, you know, overclock at your own risk definitely cannot hold me responsible for any damage that may come to your laptop if you do any of this. Okay, and then just make sure you click on it and see how it's red there. That means that that power setting is actually turned on. Can't really hear this fan um, because you can hear the fan of other laptop running behind me it's quite a bit louder but you may be able to hear this one just a little bit okay and so next I again am using nice hash to do a lot of my mining just because I don't want to do a lot of the work so bring that up I'm gonna do a little bit of its loading action there All right, so now should be ready to go. We go ahead and hit mine. Sometimes when you first get going with software like this, Windows uh, Defender can think that it is a virus or wants to block it. So it's gonna be something you're gonna end up having to go in and actually make sure that the computer is letting it through so it can actually mine. So if you run into an issue, a lot of times that's what you're running into. As soon as you get that overcome, uh, then basically a lot of times it's, it's easy to get everything else working. Go scroll this down so you can see the speed or the, the payout and everything. It gets going. There we go. That looks correct. And hit one already. There we go, that looks like a more stable normal number for this, 25.29 mega hash. Already has hit a few shares. Of course, uh, BTC is down right now, so of course payout looks really low. But it was higher than this laptop was mining over a dollar a day. Their situation right now, it's only showing about 64 cents does not seem amazing but considering this laptop does a really good job really stable I've been really happy with it really impressed to do with the laptop I missed on Wi-Fi way back in the back room so a little intermittent back here so, uh, it's back on. but we'll let it just run here for a little bit you guys can get an idea of what we're looking at for temperatures with this thing just running max so you'll see it right here 68 degrees doesn't get much you don't see much safer temperature than that ever really when, when mining so like I said, when you mine with this, it tends to stay pretty low. It's showing 70 right now, but it's 
extends and it tends to stay super low. Let's say it's using 80 watts. Oh, so now I'll go ahead and pause it. We'll go turn on the processor. Generally, when you're going to run it with processor, you want to make sure you're opening nice hash as admin, or else it doesn't get all the strings. So we'll pull that and I'll run it as admin. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Put that down. Okay, so now it shows one GPU, one CPU. Life. First one that popped up there is the CPU mining. Let's see if we can see what just that alone is. It's mining here. It pops up. Oh, it popped up too. Okay, I can see four cents down there with CPU. Ooh, so much! But every little bit, you know, counts. Okay, now let's put together the build. Looks like it's put it together. It looks like it did verify it. And well, now she should be mining. Didn't pop a number there, but looks like it should here in a second. Yeah, I can see a number where it says it's mining now 68 cents. Yeah, there's a share. We'll just let it wait until it actually shows you the hash rate there. So we'll let it continue on here for just a second. So I had way less issues mining with this laptop than I did the other laptop. Okay, see 25.3, so just the standard, and we're seeing right now temp 72 degrees. And again, like I said, with the CPU and the GPU running, that does continue to increase to a little bit higher temperature than I feel comfortable with. I think it will run stably about 78. It's hard to say without letting it run for about an hour. Seventy-five degrees now. Bumping out those shares, though. We'll wait for just one more to see if we can see if that temperature is still coming up. Of course, I don't have it raised up a little bit. Usually, I'll put a little block under it so it does raise it up a little bit so you can get good airflow underneath there, and it uh, keeps it up. And I do keep the lid shut what I'm actually mining. We're at 77. So, yeah, like I said, it does really well if you run in just the GPU. It runs a little bit warmer than I like running uh, both CPU and GPU. On the ASUS, I do not mind running the CPU and the GPU at the same time, but you could also run the internal GPU that's built on to the CPU, uh, so I tend to not run that, so I'll just run the CPU mining and then the main GPU mining, and the temperature stay really good, really stable like that. See, it's already up to 78 degrees. Alright guys, well, hope that answers some of your questions, or if uh, you're looking into possibly getting one of these laptops, you know, definitely I would recommend this one, it's been an amazing laptop. But I definitely want to thank you for coming along. Take it easy.